Hello everyone, my name is Arthur Lockman and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about Adobe's newest product, Flash Catalyst. Flash Catalyst is a product that Adobe built to allow designers to build rich internet applications. Now it can be used to turn, turn design files from Illustrator or Photoshop or Fireworks I believe into rich internet applications with minimal effort. So I'm going to show you some basic features today. I'm going to show you how to create button interactions and some other controls. So I'm going to start by creating a new Flash Catalyst project. We're going to call it Basic. It's going to have an 800 by 600 width and height and the artboard color of white. Okay, so show you around some of the panels in Flash Catalyst. Up here on the top we have our states panel which is all the different states of the application. These are used for navigation so you build a state that has something on it with a button that'll go to a different state that'll go to a different state. Over library which has all of our images and other objects that we might put into the project. We have layers like Photoshop. You're all familiar with Photoshop. Down here we have interactions which is where we define interactions between buttons and other components. Down here are the properties which will show when we actually have something selected. Down here we have design time data which is used when you have a data grid on the application you can edit the data from the grid right here. Timelines is for building transitions between different states. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by building a rounded rectangle. This will become our button. I'm also going to build some text that says this is state 1. Okay, so we have this text. Make it a little bigger so it's easier to see. This is state 1. All right. So now over here we have a rounded rectangle. Now what can we do with this? Well, Flash Catalyst makes it very easy to build a button. So just click button. So now it's a button. Let's add some attributes to this button. So we have the up, we have over, we have down and disabled. All the things you'd expect to have on a button. So we'll make the up fill. Let's go with blues today. This is going to be up, over, Add another color, down, add another color, Ooh, that didn't take, down will be that color, and we'll have disabled be gray. Okay. Be sure to save your project often, put this right in the desktop. Okay, so we have this button. This button doesn't do anything as of right now, but we'll build it so you can see that the button states have been built. It's loading. All of the button states have been built and it interacts correctly. Perfect. So now we're going to go back over here. This doesn't do anything. So we want it to do something. We go to the Interactions panel, click Add Interaction. On click, play Transition to State. However, we don't have another state, so we need to create a state. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this state. We'll change it so that this says this is state 2. So in this state it says it's state 2, in this state it says it's state 1. We're going to add a button interaction for this button. Go back to our Select tool, select this. Add interaction, play transition to state 2 when in state 1. Perfect. Now we're also going to add an interaction that says play transition to state 1 when in state 2. This will allow us very easily to switch between states. We'll run the application. It loads. This is state 1, this is state 2. Very simple. So now you may want to make it look pretty. So we'll go over here to the state transitions. We're going to add 
a smooth transition between state one and two. So for this object, I'm going to add action. What it's going to do is it's going to fade. So that object is going to fade between state one and state two. And we also want to have it fade between state two and state one. Save build. Now I've been hitting build a lot. It's command enter is build, just like in Flash. This is state one. We'll fade to this is state two. Now the fade is wrong because you can see here that it ends too quickly. So we need to make the fade slower. We also need this fade to be slower as well. That should fix the problem. And now there's also other transitions we can build. There are some 3D transitions built into Catalyst. Let's try one of those out. So we're going to add an action. We'll have a rotate 3D. Let's see what this does. OK. Good. Go. It rotated in 3D. Now that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can make it do it for both states. Rotate 3D. Build. That's pretty cool, I'd say. So that's just some basic button interactions, and it doesn't take very much to build that. In the next video that I'll put out, I'll show you how to go from a Photoshop or Illustrator file directly to Flash Catalyst and have a completely data-driven website using Flash Builder and Flash Catalyst because you cannot edit the code in Catalyst. You have to use Builder. That's all for right now, and I will see you again soon.